Hi everyone, it's Veronica, and as you may notice, um, I did get my hair cut and colored today. So it's a little shorter um, in the length. I got my layers redone, and um, I had it highlighted and low lighted. And um, most of the time, just to explain, I only get my hair highlighted, and my hair just consists of my natural brown color and um, some blonde highlights. But um, this time my stylist, about every third or fourth time, I'll also have low lights put in because if you've ever had blonde highlights done before, you know that if you keep putting in blonde over and over and over and over, you're eventually going to end up with all blonde hair. And I definitely do not want that. I've always, you know, I used to be blonde back in the day and um, I did that for about three years. And I just think brunette hair suits me better, but I do like to have a little lightness to it. And I do want to let you know that I am going to film a video all about communicating with your stylist and just saying how to communicate to them exactly what you're looking for in your haircut, in your hair color, how to go about that, how to have the best relationship with your stylist, how to find a great stylist. So I'm going to make a separate video for that, but this actual video is going to be a haul video. Um, as you can tell, I know I just got my hair done. It totally doesn't look styled because... Um, I have, I was at the mall all day and I, I'm actually losing daylight right now. So I'm using artificial light. So I hope that, um, that lighting's good. But anyways, I was at the mall all day. I was trying things on, you know, taking things on and off over my head. So my curls have fallen out, but let's get to the shopping. Um, I did go to Gilly Hicks today. I'm like obsessed with that store lately. I don't know why. Cause it's like, so not a store that's like for people my age even, but they have the cutest stuff and it's not like you know, Victoria's Secret Pink, I really love their stuff, but some of their stuff is like a little too young. And even though this is like a young store, I kind of feel like their colors and styles are a little more mature. So look how cute the bag is. It's like little um, navy with little red polka dots. I just thought that was really cute. And they were having a promotion um, on their underwear. So right now, both Victoria's Secret and Gilly Hicks are doing seven pairs of underwear. So Gilly Hicks has seven pairs for $25.50 and Victoria's Secret Pink has seven pairs for 26 and then that includes the Victoria's Secret cotton as well. So um, I did pick up seven pairs of underwear, but you know, I don't really need to show those in this video, but I am going to show you the other things I got, which were also all on sale. And the first thing is this um, tank top and oh, it's inside out. My apologies. Um, this is just a striped tank top. And it's got the little lace detailing um, at the neck and the shoulders. And it was originally $24.50 and I got it for 30% um, off. And it's, it's like a nice stretchy fabric. I just think this is really cute for like layering under different things and lounging around. I just thought it was feminine and pretty and it was a really good price. So I, I picked up that. Um, and then I got a pair of these little sleep shorts. And they're just like a checkered kind of plaid pattern. And then they have this little um, satin bow to secure them and then they have the little ruffles on the bottom and they just they just really like reminded me of the holidays and um they just reminded me of christmas and i really love like getting like special um pjs around the holidays so these are really cute um and in the back they're just normal and then um the last thing aside from the underwear that i picked up are these adorable they're like, I don't even know what these are. They're like legging pants. And I did get these in a size large. Um, these stores tend to have like junior sizing. So I I tend to either get mediums or larges in everything in these stores because the sizing is really small. And these are like leggings. So um, they have like this little satin bow. And then they have this cute little pocket on the front. And then they're just, um, they just go all the way down pretty much. And it's like a legging. And then it has this on the bottom. And they're just really like, they're so soft and snuggly and they just feel really good. So these were on sale from $34.50 um, and they were on sale for $20. So I really like these. I actually kind of regret not getting them in more colors because they are like the perfect lounging pants. Like, you know how sometimes like sweatpants can tend to be baggy and like, they're like kind of too hot sometimes. So these are like warm, but they're more lightweight than sweatpants and they're more fitted. So I just think they look cuter than the average sweatpants. So that's what those look like. Um, and then um, I really treated myself today and I totally was not expecting to get anything from this store. But as soon as I saw this, I loved it. And a lot of you know that most of my workout clothes are from Lululemon. I really love that store. I think their quality is amazing. Yes, it's expensive, but I have stuff from there from five or six years ago that is still going strong. So definitely highly recommend the store. And last year there was this like zip up jacket there that I really loved, but they never had it 
in the pattern I wanted in the size I needed so I never was able to get it but this year um, they had a beautiful jacket and I was able to get it and they have these awesome bags there right now um, usually they're red and white but they have the little um, black and white ones so I thought that was cool that I could get this special bag um, and then I just use these bags for like my groceries and bring my lunch to work and stuff so the sweater that I got is this amazing material and it, this one has a hood and um, it just has like the, I'll post a link to it if I can find it online, but it just has like the Lululemon logo on the front. I don't really know if the camera's picking that up. And then it's got the hood. And then it's got the sleeves with the little thumb holes. So you can kind of see it right there. It's got like little, um, little thumb holes at the sleeves and it just looks, I'm gonna have to post a picture of me wearing this because it just looks so slimming and beautiful on the body. And it's a combination of this black fabric and like this um, gray and black. I can't even describe it. It's not like a herringbone or anything, but it's kind of like a herringbone like texture. And I just really love it. And it was kind of pricey, but like I said, these are investment pieces. And this is something that I would wear like every day to, you know, over my tank top to the gym. This is like the kind of jacket I would wear just zipped up on weekends. Um, running errands and things like that. So I know I'll get a lot of use out of this. And then lastly, something I bought this week that I want to kind of do a mini review on as well is the Versa Spa Bronzer Sunless Spray. So um, a lot of you have probably heard of Versa Spa. It's like a tanning um, system. It's like a spray tan system that a lot of salons offer. And you basically pay like 35 or $40. That's the cost at most places I've been to. And you stand in the machine and it sprays you. So it's not Mystic Tan, it's Versa Spa. So there's, I guess there's two and they're competitors, but I've never ever heard good things about Mystic Tan. So um, I've just always done the Versa Spa. But the last time I went and got a spray tan, I noticed that they sold um, an aerosol can of the same product that's in the machines. And I and it's, it's $40. So FYI, the St. Tropez bronzer that I got at Sephora um, in my friends and family sale hall returned it. Like I tried to use that stuff on my body and I was, I was horrified. I mean, my husband was like, oh my God, like you look like you rolled around in mud. Like there were brown streaks everywhere. I mean, I was trying to like apply it evenly, but it was drying quickly. And like I, when I rubbed, it would just stay like dark in one spot and look normal in the other. I mean, I literally like did my whole body in it and I freaked out and I jumped in the shower and just washed it all off because I was like, oh my gosh, I cannot possibly go to sleep like this because if I, you know, I was worried when I would wake up, I'd have like streaks all over me. So I returned it, got my full refund back. So it's the same price. Both products are $40. I think I've come to the conclusion that airbrush formulas for self tanning are really the best way to go because there's the least amount of air in it, in my opinion. When you have a lotion, you know, you have to make sure you got it everywhere you rub it in. This has a bronzer mixed in so you can see where you spray it. And all you need is a fine mist over every area of your body to get a good result. So anyways, back to this. So $40 for this can. And I thought, well, you know, if I'm already paying $35, just get one spray tan. You know, if this lasts me two or three tans, it's basically paid for itself. So I did use this on, gosh, when did I use this? On Thursday, no, no on when on, I did use this on Thursday night and I did my whole body and it woke up had a perfect tan you know it, it give it gives great color really even results you know obviously it takes a teeny bit of practice like I did miss after I looked at myself after I sprayed it, I had to touch up a few spots because I noticed I missed a few spots but that's why it's so great it has the bronzer in it because you know you can really tell if you've missed something so I really love this product so far I'm going to use it another time to really see how it compares to other like cheaper formulas. But since it's the same stuff that they use in the actual booth, I just thought I would give this a try and see if it's worth the money to spend it on the can versus going and getting it done at the salon. So like this, and I will report back once I've used it more. Um, and then the last thing I wanted to share with you all is actually something that I'm really excited about. Um, I was sent this 100% pure argan oil by a company called Sadia Organics. It comes in a little bottle like this, has like a cute little tassel. And um, this 
is actually like pure argan oil. Like a lot of um, brands have argan oil in them, like Moroccan oil, which I also own that, which um, you can use on your hair. But this is like the purest form of it. So it, it doesn't have like artificial smells. It smells like kind of nutty, like what real argan oil would smell like. And um, I've been using this for the last couple weeks. And one of the uses I use it for um, that was recommended to me by um, the lovely woman who sent it to me is to use it as a deep conditioning treatment overnight on my hair. And you know, now that I've got my hair cut, I really want to prioritize keeping my ends healthy because I do tend to get a lot of breakage and split ends. So what I've been, um, I've, I've already done this before I got my hair cut and I'm just going to continue doing it is one night a week, usually on Sunday night before I go to bed, I'll put some of this oil in my hands and I'll put it on all the ends of my hair and then I'll clip it up in one of my little clips and just sleep with it in my hair overnight. And then when I wake up in the morning and I wash my hair and condition it and shower, it just feels really soft and smooth because it's been infused with that oil overnight. So it's really soaking up that moisture. And then another thing I use this for, believe it or not, I've been putting this on my face. Yes, I know. I know it's crazy because my skin's so sensitive and I like, I'm so weary of using anything on my face, but this is such a pure oil. I just, you know, I trusted um, the person who sent it to me and she said that she uses it on her skin and it really helps with moisturizing. And I have to say, I have used this on my skin. It has not broken me out. I've been using it to treat one fine line that I have on my forehead. And then one day I had like a really bad pimple, um, like right around, right around this area um, this week. And once it started to finally heal, it was really red and it was peeling. Actually, it's probably like still peeling every single day. But when I get a pimple, my pimple tends to like heal and then it's really red and it peels like it's this whole process. So I thought, hmm, like I wonder if putting this on overnight will help, you know, with the peeling, with the healing. And let me tell you, I really do think I've noticed a difference in how quickly my skin is healing and how much less peeling I'm having when using this overnight. Um, so I've really been enjoying this. And then the exciting part about this is that I'm actually in the next couple weeks hosting a giveaway on my blog. So one of my readers can win a whole gift, um, gift box full of, um, products from this company full of argan oil products. So I'm really excited. So my blog, um, I'll link it below. It's veronicasblushing.com and I am going to host a giveaway. So watch out for that in the next few weeks. Um, and anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video and I'm happy to share all my lovely purchases with you, especially my little Lululemon sweater that I'm like so excited about. Um, so have a good weekend and I'm going to film more tomorrow when I have some extra um, daylight because it's, it's getting kind of late here and um, I'm, I'm weary to film more videos in this lighting because I'm not sure how it's going to turn out. So thanks again and have a great night. Bye.